Many of you have asked how you can use a YouTube video in a presentation you want to do. Uh, today I want to show you how you go about downloading a YouTube video so that you can use it in your classroom without actually being connected to YouTube because sometimes we have spotty connection or no connection at all here. So the first thing you want to do is find your video. If you're at home, that's simple enough by going to YouTube and finding the video you want to convert. So for instance, let's say, oh, I don't know, we want to look for... Um, a thriller video. You can search YouTube and lo and behold here comes a thriller dance. Now the important thing that you pull is this address right here. You want to copy that address. So once you have that open and copied you can go to our website and staff resources and partway down you'll see a link that says convert video for almost any file online for free. When you click that, it takes you to a website called youconvertit.com. It defaults to converting an online video. And to convert a YouTube video, it says the three or four sites that it supports there, you paste in your YouTube video, you give it your email address, and you pick a format. In this case, I'm going to say QuickTime Movie which is what I would recommend you pick, and you click Convert It. And what that does is sends this off to you convert it, and when it's finished being converted, it will come into your email as a link that you can click on to download it. I'll show you that in a moment. So now you'll check your email, not quite as fast as I just did, and you will find a message from you convert it. Click on it, and it gives you a link that you can click on to download it. It will stay active for seven days. Click that link. It takes you to a you Convert It page where you click a second link and it will begin downloading. If you're using Safari, it automatically downloads straight to your downloads folder. If you are using Firefox, it will ask you if you want to save it or play it with QuickTime and then drop it onto your desktop. It's pretty easy. Hope that was helpful and we'll see you next time.